Welcome to War Room, the official podcast of the U.S. Army War College Online Journal, graciously supported by the Army War College Foundation. Please join the conversation at warroom.armywarcollege.edu. We hope you enjoy the program. Make sure not to miss a single podcast and subscribe to A Better Peace, the War Room podcast at iTunes, Google Play, or your favorite subscription service. The views expressed in this presentation are those of the speakers and do not necessarily reflect those of the U.S. Army War College, U.S. Army, or Department of Defense. Welcome to A Better Peace, the War Room podcast. I'm Buck Habrichter, Managing Editor of the War Room. Our readers will recall that for this year's Thanksgiving message, we turned the page back to 1968 for the proclamation issued that year by President Lyndon Johnson. Even at a time plagued by war, unrest, and division, Johnson reminded the nation not to overlook all that was good. Inspired by the recent success of the Artemis I mission to lunar orbit, we'll continue the theme of 1968 for our annual holiday message. That year ended with the historic Apollo 8 mission, the first manned mission to orbit the moon. During the return to Earth, astronauts Frank Borman, James Lovell Jr., and William Anders broadcast a televised greeting from space that was the most watched television program to that time. As the first humans to ever leave low Earth orbit and thus to be able to look back at our world in its entirety, They had a truly unprecedented vantage from which to bring good tidings to all. Though the words come from a specific religious text and tradition which these men shared, when placed in the context of that epic journey and the unsettled time at home, the underlying message seems to transcend any specific set of beliefs and speak to a perhaps common sense of awe and wonder when faced with the vastness of space in the universe. In that spirit, we've shared the Apollo 8 message both on our website and here is a podcast episode with the original recording for your consideration. Now approaching uh, lunar sunrise, and uh, for all the people back on Earth, the crew of Apollo 8 has a message that we would like to send to you. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the Earth, and the Earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters, and God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night, and the evening and the morning were the first day. And God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters. Let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made the firmament, and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament. And it was so. And God called the firmament heaven, and the evening and the morning were the second day. (laughs) God said, Let the waters under the heaven be gathered together into one place, and let the dry land appear, and it was so. And God called the dry land earth, and the gathering together of the waters called he seas. And God saw that it was good. And from the crew of Apollo 8, we close with good night, good luck, a Merry Christmas, and God bless all of you, all of you on the good earth. And so to close the year, we here at War Room wish that you and yours may find a brief distraction from your troubles, and a sense of hope and wonder like those of the Apollo 8 astronauts for what is still to come. Happy holidays and happy new year. We see you in 2023. And from the War Room, I'm Buck Haberichter. And that concludes our program. Thank you for listening. The views expressed in this podcast reflect those of the speakers and do not necessarily reflect the views, policies, or positions of the U.S. Army or the Department of Defense. Let us know what you think. Provide us your feedback, comments, or suggestions through our webpage at warroom.armywarcollege.edu. And have a great day.